Hey friends, welcome to my channel and today I'm gonna show you Russian countryside. My dacha is located about 120 km from Moscow in the Tver region. The road to it takes around 3 hours if there are no traffic jams. We need to cross the river on the ferry to get to our countryside house. It costs about $7 per car one way. And it may look nice, but when there are ships going around, we can spend hours waiting for them to pass. And yeah, welcome to my countryside, or how we call it, Dacha. When we just came there, on the first day I was doing almost nothing, just reading the book, walking around, enjoying the sun. Okay, it's got a little bit cold now, so I'm returning home, but so peaceful, so amazing, and after working like every day, it's the best thing ever. Countryside style and a little bit about how Russians are superstitious because my mom just rescued a spider from the fire because uh, Russians believe that if they kill a spider there will be no money in the family or it's bad luck or whatever. Anyway, she just rescued it. So friends, I woke up a little bit early today, now it's uh, 9 am and I'm already walking for 30 minutes because it can get really hot and I just want my dog to like, you know, walk and enjoy. The only thing, I forgot water for him, so probably I wouldn't walk that much as I wanted, but still, <laughs> so nice. Like he just loves to swim for drugs and he can do this all day long. Yes, of course, it looks really enjoyable, relaxing. Uh, <laughs> but a few years ago, I think around five, six years ago, uh, in water there was, I think, glass from the bar or something like this. And my dog uh, hearted his paw. And oh my God, there was so much wood. I started running to home. We, like my mom, immediately went to the wet. And the problem about this region and the fact that we should cross the river the way it's really long and like we were really afraid he would die because there was so much wood and actually it's really dangerous for elderly people because mostly in this area older people are living because if they will like something happen to go to hospital it's really complicated are you a countryside boy yes you are Also another thing that should be mentioned is that there are a lot of snakes in this region and I know for example in this thing there should be a lot of them so of course we are going far away from here <laughs> and actually there are some poison snakes it's called gaduka and sometimes we can see this in our countryside and damn that's not what I want to see This place is intersection of two rivers and there are many stones on which snakes usually lie however our neighbors said that this year they haven't seen any snakes what is surprising I don't cook, I don't clean, mom. <laughs> this is what every Russian woman hears from her family. 
Yes, enjoying the life, I agree. <laughs> I was on my way to the shop now and oh my god, just look at this. Honestly, I've never seen so much garbage here. Usually there is a special car drives around and cleans it up, but it doesn't seem to be this time. I don't know what happened here, but come on, it looks so horrible because like countryside, everything is so clean, nature, and all this garbage, like so sad. Anyways. I'm going to the shop now. Uh, I want to buy old Russian lemonade, which I used to drink when I was a kid. I was just in my country now. I was like, oh, I really want it. And by the way, this shop you see now, it was built only like just a few years ago because in the past there were no the shop. And every time, every day, except I think Monday, um, a shop in the car that I showed you in my previous video about countryside, be sure to take a look at it. Uh, it was coming every day to our countryside and we were buying food. But fortunately, now there is a shop because it wasn't convenient at all. I even painted a little bit because I was dreaming about this all last month. Even though it's so rainy, I think I could make a fire. It's already something <laughs> um, when I'm waiting for it. Um, let me show you around my countryside. Firstly, what you see when you're entering my countryside territory is a big house. Actually, it used to be red when I was a kid and my granddad built himself. Also, my mom really asked me to show you this her house. She's really proud of it so i hope she'll be happy here is the house inside nothing special by the way every person from soviet union had such watch <laughs> and of course icons here is our kitchen also worth noting that inside our kitchen the floor is very this is really old car and my granddad uh, brought it from Vladimir, you know, I have a relatives there and it should be, I have no idea how many years, but around 50 years, maybe even more. This is our sauna, or how it call it in Russian language, Banya. Last year my granddad saw one poison snake right here and oh my gosh. There are neighbors. And this is our second house. Uh, but now there is like also a construction, it's not ready yet at all. This is how we washed our hands, face, like this. This is our well and let's say like this is one side, there should be four more inside if I'm not making a mistake. And my uncle and granddad built themselves again, our neighbors houses <laughs> and from from the well we are taking water to the barrels there are two big barrels if you can see and we're using it from there Pretty soon we are going to back to Moscow and just before our way back I decided to walk with my dog on the field and yeah, so nice. I was swimming there all my childhood. Amazing and definitely a great trip but I miss this place because of the university I stopped visiting it like as often as I used to do when I was like in the school but it's okay. You know, some, because of this, you more appreciate this time here. So, I hope you enjoyed this video and one day I hope you visit Russian countryside yourself. See you in the next videos of mine. Bye guys!